What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hugo Strange. One more time. So, YouTube, April 2010, last year, it was announced that Stephen King's Dark Tower will become a television series and a film series directed by Ron Howard and written by Akiva Goldsman. This is the duo that brought us uh, The Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. Now, regardless of the fact of whether or not the movies are going to be good is another story, but I still think it's going to be fun to suggest casting um, as far as who's going to play the characters and whatnot, so I figured I might as well throw my hat in the ring. Starting off with the main character of Roland of Gilead, since Clint Eastwood can do it, and let's face it, Clint Eastwood is Roland of Gilead, I figured since we can't get Clint Eastwood, we might as well get Kiefer Sutherland. Now, the reason I picked Kiefer Sutherland is because Roland in the Dark Tower is described as having blue eyes and sandy brown hair, and Kiefer Sutherland fits the bill. Plus, Kiefer Sutherland looks like a very hard man in terms of, well, being road hard and, you know, hung up wet. If anyone's seen 24 and seen his performance as Jack Bauer, I think that Jack Bauer is a pretty good Roland derivative. Um, the idea of a man who's all about the task at hand, you know, getting the job done and crying later. You know, a man who, who, who is in tune with his emotions, but can also control him in order to complete the job. And I think that's exactly who Roland is, and I, and I think Kiefer Sutherland fits the bill perfectly. As far as Eddie Dean goes, um, the name that comes up frequently is Aaron Paul, and I can see why Aaron Paul is in fact 23, which is how old Eddie Dean was when he was introduced into Midworld. And Aaron Paul looks like a junkie, which, you know, is what Eddie Dean is. Um, and Aaron Paul plays a junkie in Breaking Bad, which is why I think his name has come up as frequently as it has. However, I think for the sake of the movie, and um, for the sake of the Eddie Dean character, because I don't think Aaron Paul has the right build to play Eddie Dean, I think Garrett Hedlund would be a perfect choice. I mean, look at the picture that I have him right here. Um, he looks like a smart-ass heroin dealer slash heroin user from Brooklyn. If you can think of Johnny Depp's character in Blow, I think that's kind of what Gary he uh, Garrett Hedlund has going for him in this picture, and I think that's kind of what uh, Eddie Dean has going for him in, um, in the Dark Tower series. Um, yeah, Garrett Hedlund is older than Eddie Dean, but I think for the sake of the movie we can overlook that because he has the right look and the right build and I think he fits. As far as Susanna goes, or Odetta Walker, Odetta Holmes, however you want to say it, I'm gonna call her Susanna because that's the name she uses from, you know, throughout the entire book. Um, so as far as Susanna goes, I've been seeing Angela Bassett's name thrown around a lot and you know what? I can't say anything bad about it. Angela Bassett certainly fits the, uh, fits the bill to play uh, Susanna. Um, she's certainly attractive enough. Um, Angela Bassett seems to fit. I can't think of anything wrong with this. But, knowing how Hollywood is, they're probably going to get Zoe Saldana to do it for better or worse, however you want to look at it. Uh, quite frankly, I can't see a problem with either one of them, except for the fact that Zoe Saldana is actually younger than, oh, than Susanna. But, I mean... For the sake of the movie, I think that's what they're going to do, but I could be wrong about that. But Angela Bassett would be the perfect choice for Susanna. For Jake Chambers, your guess is as good as mine. Trying to find a good 10-year-old uh, child actor is like finding a needle in a haystack. Impossible. Um, well, improbable, but not impossible. Um, a lot of the childhood actors we had in our past, or in, in our day and age, um, like the kid from The Sixth Sense and, uh, you know, Jonathan Lipnicki, not that I'm suggesting them, I'm just saying a lot of them have gotten older and would no longer qualify to play Jake Chambers. So, so if anyone knows any child actors who could fit Jake Chambers, let me know, because you, you're going to need a, a very powerful performance out of Jake Chambers. So you know, you're definitely going to have to do some do some homework on that, so I'm eager to hear your suggestions on that part. Father Callahan, well, he did it once and he can do it again. James Cromwell, he played um, Father Callahan in the Salem's Lot. I think it was a TV movie, TV series, or a film series, or, or, or a movie, I, I can't remember which. But all I know is he played Father Callahan before. James Cromwell certainly would be the obvious choice, but 
For me personally, I would like to see John Lithgow do it. I really like John Lithgow. Um, I've always liked John Lithgow, and I think um, he played a priest before in a Footloose, or was it Dirty Dancing? I can't remember which. But either way, uh, I would like to see Jonathan Lithgow in this role. Um, he certainly is a very charismatic actor. He certainly has a lot of range to him. And you're going to need that for someone like Father Callahan. Um, so he's definitely someone that I would like to see in the Dark Tower films. Last but not least, the man in black, Randall Flagg, Walter O'Dim, whatever you want to call him, that's the guy. Um, now, people have been throwing out a lot of names, Christopher Walken, etc., etc. I don't think so. Um, because if you if you remember in The Gunslinger, when Roland finally catches up to um, Randall Flagg and he removes the hood, um, Roland is actually surprised because he was expecting the Man in Black to look older than he did and the Man in Black actually looked younger. Plus, if you read the stand where Randall Flagg shows up, he's actually not an old man. He shows up, you know, kind of this young, average-looking kind of guy who's very menacing. Now, I think the only person who fits that bill is... Jeremy Sisto. If you listen to this man talk, Jeremy Sisto has the voice of a demon. And I mean that in a good way, because he's just so menacing. Um, he has a very, very menacing quality about him. His eyes, his smirk, his just, just his overall facial appearance just looks like, he just looks menacing. Plus, if you've ever seen the 2002 Twilight Zone series, in the episode The Execution of Grady Finch, Jeremy Sisto has an incredible sinister laugh um, in that episode. Can we show the clip? <laughs> I think he would make a perfect Man in Black. A few things I hope they don't do. I hope they don't make Oi CGI. That would really piss me off. Also, I really hope they get Michael C. Hall to do the voice of Blaine the Mono. That would be really cool. I really hope in the films that they connect all of the Stephen King worlds into that movie. That would be really interesting to see how they manage to do that. If they do it at all, I, I don't know. I wonder if they're going to do the entire flashback of Wizard and Glass. That might be a little weird. The entire Wizard of Oz analog and Wizard and Glass might be a little bit weird in a film for people who haven't read the books. I wonder if they're going to get Anthony Hopkins to play Ted Brodigan again. Who knows? I wonder if the Wolves of the Kala are actually going to have the lightsabers and snitches. That would be interesting. And I wonder how they're going to address Mordred. That would be kind of weird. I really hope they don't make the Tahin CGI either. That would suck. So anyway, those are my suggestions. Um, please let me hear your comments about this. Um, I think the Dark Tower film series is going to be not as impressive as the books. I don't think it's going to be anywhere near as impressive as the books. And I'm really proud of myself because I said I was going to read the books before the movie came out. And I did. And... You know, the movie hasn't even been thought of by the time I finished the books, but when it did, you know, hey, at least I read the books, so now I, I'm well informed about this. I absolutely love the Dark Tower series, and I can't really say that I'm looking forward to the movies, but I am interested to see how badly they screw it up, and if they get it accurately or not. You know, what choices they make, what they decide to keep, what they decide to take out. I am interested in that. I would love to read your comments about this, your casting suggestions. Make a response video, leave a comment. I'm out of here. Peace.